Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and today I'm going over the last lesson in Instagram Unlock where I teach you how to go from zero to 100,000 followers. And today we're going to be breaking down case studies and what you can learn from some of these successful people on Instagram so you not only can get more followers, but you can generate more revenue, sales, and leads from Instagram as well. It's super effective. If you have followed along, you should start seeing results by now from Instagram Unlock. If you haven't been following along, you can go to neilpatel.com slash training, click on Instagram Unlock. You'll find all the lessons for free, of course. You'll find all the PDFs, worksheets, cheat sheets that'll help you get results so you can be doing better on Instagram. And here's a quote from the Instagram founder uh, that I love to read. Focus on one thing and doing it really, really well can get you very far. So I want you to do that. Just focus on what I'm teaching you and you'll get far. Here's an example from Kylie Cosmetics, and I know this is Kylie Jenner, um, and I have other case studies as well. Kylie Jenner's young. Um, she has a net worth of over 900 million, and she founded Kylie Cosmetics in 2015. When she founded in 2015, she quickly grew her Instagram following to well over 100 million followers, and then created this 900 plus or billion plus dollar company, and it's growing and growing. So some business facts, in 2019, they registered revenue of $300 million. Now, Cody Inc. bought 51% controlling state in the company for $600 million, and Kylie Jenner now owns 49%. She raised zero money from investors and only 12 employees. That's pretty impressive, and good for her on creating that large of a business. She's using her website and then pushing traffic to Shopify and is generating sales. And that's helped tremendously to build that 300 plus million dollar business. So celebrity earnings per post, The Rock, million dollars, Kylie Jenner, almost a million. Uh, Ronaldo's up there as well. Kardashian, again, Kim, a lot of money. Uh, Ariana Grande, Selena Gomez. All these people are making a killing per post. Um, and here's another case study. $20 million in sales in one year using Instagram. Now, this is Frank Body. You may have heard of them, you may have not. It's a skincare brand that's setting itself apart in a crowded space, and they're doing a great example on Instagram. And they're able to pull in over $20 million in sales in one year. Now, you already have heard of Kylie Cosmetics, but I bet you haven't heard of Frank Body. So, how'd they get there? Well, they have a really tight focus on creating content themes to ensure their page is doing really well. So they stick with their niche. They don't create content on a lot of different subjects. They stick within their niche. And they focus their message to young women and developed a personified character that capture that voice and tone for their users and that can really relate and sell to them. And look, not only do they focus their product in, but they also focus on who they're selling to as well. And that really helped them with their success. Uh, and they also share user submitted photos on a consistent basis as well. You want to monetize your Instagram community. There's no point in building up all the followers and not doing anything with it. So you want to switch to a business profile, use Instagram insights, uh, linking products to your Facebook and tagging on Instagram. You want to have product endorsements, teasers uh, that will gently urge people to buy. And of course, this is my favorite thing. You want to partner with influencers for a wider reach, like going live together. And when you go live together and you both promote it through your stories and posting, you both will get more followers. And of course, there's analytics. So you need to be analyzing and measuring your results. Look, here are the metrics you should be keeping in mind when it comes to Instagram. What's your follower growth rate? You can also use uh, Social Blade for this. What's your engagement per post, your comments per post, your website traffic, your link clicks, your Instagram story engagement. All this is super important. So how does Instagram fit into your omni-channel strategy? If you leverage it and you take a lot of the content that you share on Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and repurpose it, you can get extra traffic. What works on each platform usually works on the other. Not always, but usually. You know, with Facebook, they like events and timelines, videos, photos, uh, links to events. Links to your site doesn't do as well. With LinkedIn, case studies, white paper, you can even link outside. Uh, you can write articles on LinkedIn. That does well. With Instagram, the people just want to see your personal life. Uh, they love products, quotes, videos do extremely well, inspirational stuff does well, uh, getting people to swipe up does well. With Twitter, it's great for storytelling, news, quick uh, strategy, tips, uh, blurts of advice. That does well, like how-to stuff. Uh, Printest, how-to also does really well there. And I've also found that 
pretty photos, uh, inspirational, like when it comes to interior decorating, cooking, that kind of stuff does really well on Pinterest as well. So I want you to focus on sharing your content. Look, repurpose the stuff that already works in some of these other places and put it all over the web because you're going to get more views from it, more branding, and that's going to help grow your brand. And that's why I share content every single day on all my platforms, and that's helped me grow tremendously. And that's how you're going to be growing to not only 100,000 followers, but also beyond. And to do that, you need to determine what's your main goal, what's your main objective. If you don't define your goals on Instagram, you're not going to do better on there because you'll find that you'll get followers, but nothing happens with these followers, so you're just wasting time. I also want you to analyze the competition's content, see what they're doing, what's working, gather some inspiration from that, uh, keep growing by posting consistently. I know I mentioned this throughout this whole you know, two-week course, but it's because it works. Posting multiple times a day is great. At least post once every 48 hours, but you do want to ideally post more often than that. I also want you to go to neilpatel.com slash training, click on Instagram unlocked, and go to week two, lesson three, pretty much the last lesson, and download the Instagram Taskmaster Worksheet. This will break down step by step all the stuff you need to do. This is your daily checklist. Uh, if you do this, that's how you can keep track and get to 100,000 followers. Um, you can also consider buying Instagram accounts. Uh, sometimes they say it's not approved, it is approved. It's up to you if you want to do this or not. I don't do it. i rather build them from scratch, but I go over this because I know quite a few requested this in the comments in some of the other lessons, so I decided to add this in. And you can buy established accounts you know, in a viable way to help grow your following. I've seen this done all day long. Uh, you can use services like Social Tradia to reach out uh, directly and get some of these accounts. Now, when you're buying this, reach out to the owner as you normally just by DMing them, see how keen they are on selling. Be persistent if you really want that account. Um, and as I mentioned, I like doing it from scratch because I found when you buy an account, the engagement just isn't the same. So what does it take to be a great Instagram influencer? Well, first off, you need to love what you do. If you don't have passion, people see it in your photos, your videos, you know, your stories. So love what you do. If you don't love what you do, go do something else. Life is too short. Uh, and in summary, if you want to get the most out of this course, review this program multiple times over the next few months. Use the modules as a roadmap and make sure you download that Taskmaster worksheet. Uh, work with the lessons. There's a lot of worksheets. If you put the time and energy into it, you'll do well. And you've already invested in yourself. I'm proud of you for taking that time. Now invest in this course as well. You can get all the lessons, modules, recaps, worksheets, cheat sheets through going to neilpatel.com slash training. Click on Instagram Unlocked. You'll find it all there. I'm very happy for you that you completed this course. Now it's time for you to apply everything so you can get to over 100,000 followers. I just wanted to thank you for putting the time into learning how to do Instagram marketing, get more popular on Instagram. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell other people about it, subscribe to the channel. And if you need help with your social media marketing, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Thank you very much.